So on my last video of Lord's Cup, I saw a lot of interesting things from people saying that the game mode is not free to play friendly to other people saying that they use like 20 relocators and they still couldn't get the ball to the base. So I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go and get a ball to the base as efficiently as I can probably get it without it being stolen. So what I'm going to show you here is complete footage of me from start to finish. And essentially what I'm doing here is just looking for a ball. Um, you see that blue zone. That's pretty much where all this, the balls are going to spawn. So here is my first relocator, okay? What I tend to do at the beginning is just use T1. Not only is that going to uh, start moving the ball slowly because you don't want it to move too fast at the beginning. The reason being is because at the beginning what you really want to start doing is making sure that you max out the movement speed bonus that you get every time you, uh, you hit the Lord's Ball. And I believe it caps at about 1444%. So what I want you to keep in mind is this right here. And first of all, like you see there, if you do hit darkness, you get extra points. So I'm sending T1 and the travel speed is accumulating. And right now I'm getting to the ball in about 20 seconds, right? So just take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and hit this ball and the ball is going to keep traveling. And then once it lands, I'm going to send more T1. Keep in mind that I have not used another uh, relocator just yet. And look at this. I'm sending T1 once again. And notice that the time is actually the same. Because the distance from the ball to my castle and the movement speed actually keeps the time the same. So that's one thing that you want to keep in mind. Just because the ball is getting further doesn't mean that your troops are going to take longer. It's, uh, it's going to take about 20 seconds until you get your uh, your movement speed capped at 1444 so there it goes once again it's at about 23 seconds so i'm not losing anything there's really no reason for me to port over to the ball right now if every time i hit it is only going to take 20 seconds also unlike hunting monsters you don't necessarily have to wait until your troops get back to you to send another one so what I like to do is hit it right away, let it land, and then send the troops right, right after. Because you see, now my troops are marching back for 15 seconds, but I'm also marching to it in another 15. So there's really no, no stoppage there. And it looks like I'm using speed ups on my troops, but I'm, I'm really not. All it is is just accumulating that, uh, that bonus speed. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit it once again. And obviously, once you're around this area, there's really not many people looking to, uh, to steal your ball because it's still pretty far away. And once again, look at this. I'm moving super, super fast. So this is really the main reason why you want to start out with T1 because not only does it keep the wall fairly close to you at about 20 seconds every time you launch, but it makes sure that you get the, uh, the maximum amount of, uh, of travel speed bonus. So there we go, we're going to go ahead and hit it once again, and here it is. So as you see, my boost is already at 1,444, so the movement speed, I have it as, as, uh, as much as possible. So now it's not about accumulating that movement speed, now it's about getting it into the base. So now that the main thing that I'm worried about is getting it to the base, it start, it's time to go ahead and start using some T4. Now, obviously, as most of you already know, T4 is much slower than T1. So because I'm sending T4, instead of it being about 20 seconds or so, now it's going to be a little bit over a minute. But it's okay because still, the ball is pretty far from any fort, the base, etc. So I can afford to go ahead and send T4 without any sort of uh, worry about it getting stolen or getting hit to the base, etc. So I'm still okay. Now the good news is, once this T4 hits, the ball is going to travel quite a long ways, whereas with T1, it didn't travel as much. So just take a look at this. We're going to go ahead and hit it and see it travel. Um, I believe with T4, it travels, uh, just going by a naked eye, it probably travels about three times as far. But 
as you can tell we are about halfway there to the base now i'm gonna go ahead and speed my troops up because i want to get this done but of course you don't have to do that you can just wait a minute you know it doesn't really you don't have to do this it's still not close enough to the uh to the base or anything but just for argument's sake i went ahead and just used a couple of speed ups just because now here we go this is keep in mind this is my second relocator only. I saw a lot of people um, use like a relocator every time they hit the ball. And that's really where the issue was. You do not need to use a relocator every single time you hit the ball. You just don't. But anyways, now I'm using T4 because the whole goal here is just to get it to the base. And T4 is the easiest way to get it there because it travels the longest. So that's really what we're going to go ahead and do. And... The goal is to keep it to about three relocators. So right now we're only at our second one. So we're going to go ahead and hit it right here and watch it travel. There we go. And it's going to land right there. Nice. So also keep in mind that if it lands on something, it usually will keep going until it finds an empty square in the same direction. So uh, just keep that in mind. And here, I'm just trying to get it closer to the base, but not close enough to where one hit is going to actually steal it from me. Once you get inside the base, that's where you really, really got to be careful. Because a lot of people are going to keep their eyes on the forest, getting ready to steal it and whatnot. So just be very, very cautious of that. Now here I did something very interesting and that's this is something that I would definitely suggest a lot of people do. Instead of porting right next to the ball, what I'm going to actually do is port in between the base and the ball. That way when I'm actually trying to get it to the base, I'm not going to be too far. Because even though I'm porting in front of the ball, I can still kick it towards the base. So there is my third relocator done and there we go so now even though i'm kicking it my way notice how the ball is actually going to be getting closer to me instead of getting further away from me so once you're in the forest try to do that try to put yourself in between the ball and the base that way it's much easier for you to get it into the base instead of uh, getting it further and further which is going to make it easier for somebody else to steal it so here we go so now i know exactly how many squares i need to go and now we're just gonna go ahead and uh get it as close as i can and now it's time for the finishing touches now somebody can somebody can go ahead and port right here and try to steal it and whatnot but just keep in mind that i do have the speed bonus so if they do try to steal it they're gonna take much longer so as long as you're on top of your game, you should be good to go. And also remember that the active zone for the ball is it, it's the ball and eight squares. So as you can tell right there, I just made it inside the base. So you don't necessarily have to kick it in the middle of the base for you to actually get it done. And as you can see there, once you get the ball all the way to the base you do finish your solo automatically now i've seen some other strategies from other people like just get a ball and just uh start hitting it from to darkness um just start hitting darkness over and over and over again that's something that a lot of people started to do now that will take much longer but it's also much safer but as you can tell you do not need to use a ton of relocators you do not need to use anything that a free to play would not be able to get you just gotta play it correctly so just make sure that you do it the way that i did it and uh you know you'll be able to do it free to play or not it doesn't really matter in this kind of game mode and by the way our guild was able to get number one place also here's a different way that you can get it done you can wait till somebody messes up their ball and then just go ahead and steal it right from underneath. It might be it might be a little messed up, but there it is. <laughs> stolen ball, stolen goal. If you're a free-to-play player, or any sort of player really, if you find a ball that's messed up just like I did on that one, you can go ahead, pour it in, kick it into the goal, pour it out, and then you're good to go. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. And let me know what you guys think and if you're having fun. And until later, bye.